Hello everybody, welcome to uh, Chalice <laughs> CCL Playoffs number 45, round of 64, Kill Bill Waltz and Kislev versus Razzle Storm and Vampires. In the booth with me is Fimir, hello. Hello everybody, okay this could be a very interesting game or a very disappointing game. <laughs> <laughs> because both teams are high-risk uh, teams at a different level, but uh, if the dice don't shine, they're absolutely useless. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's it's a pretty interesting game. Yeah, like you've got vampires. There's uh, three, four, five vampires. Uh, pretty decent vampires. Uh, not that much pro, I guess, but like you know, stat guy there. Mighty blow tackle, another tackler with movement. So pretty, pretty decent vampires. Um, five reserves. That's that's wild, isn't it? So full sixteen vampires. Is there any dirty player? Don't think so. Um, versus only twelve kids left. Uh, but there's a pommer there, and there's some guard, and there's some more guard. And <laughs> yeah, it's pretty interesting, isn't it? Both teams better on defense and offense, pretty much. Wizard and wizard and a babe. For the Kislev, the and then both sides just got a bribe from the kickoff event. Yes, both teams very good at defense in a, a complete opposite way. The Kislev tends to be very aggressive on defense, they have the leap, and the vampires love not moving the vampires at all. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, dear. <sighs> Upload a Dangerous uh, kick. Because if he goes to the crowd, it will be really funny. Yes, yeah, this is a huge, a huge pickup roll. Ooh, he's got to re-roll it, hasn't he? Uh, mandatory re-roll. <laughs> Good. And he needs to be build a big screen because the vampires can come and just hypnogaze everybody. <laughs> yes. Yeah, it's an incredible screen, to be fair, isn't it? It's a re really, really strong screen in all of this, so it's... Done the right thing there, has uh, yes. killed Bill. And and the right thing to reroll the reroll the pickup because investing so many players in one side of the pitch, if the ball ended in the other side of the pitch, that was. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. If it, if it goes off, he's lost. And and the stabilization phase, especially against vampires, is like probably the most important one, right? The the first turn, especially with a short kick, is is like the most dangerous. One against Vamps, really, but now that at least he's picked up the ball, you can try and make some kind of, you know, drive. <laughs> yes. I guess he's going for this Pommer. And, uh, hello, Moradam. Yeah, that's a good point. That's a good point. Hello, Johnny. Hello, everybody. I haven't said hello to as well. Sorry if I've missed anybody. Everybody, oh, this is a live game. Yeah, this is I live. Just this is... It. I just noticed it. <laughs> because the clock was running. Thinking, we are already at the end of the replay. <laughs> yeah, this one's live, Caution. We'll do this one live, then probably a replay, and then another one live. And then um, it just says casts. It just says casts. Um, some will be live and some will be replays. I guess you could be from the future, yes. <laughs> oh, yeah, okay, I thought I thought he tagged the pommer and he was going to blitz the pommer, but he, I, so he, he was looking for the gaze there, and if he'd if he'd gazed him, he'd have blitzed the pommer. That's that was the plan, wasn't it? Yeah. But as it is, he's just kind of exposed this guy to the pommer, so now he's got to try and protect him a bit. So maybe he should have blitzed this guy instead. Vampires with a representative of the Wrestle Kick Nation. <laughs> yeah. The classic. Big up. Big up. Wing Nation. Did I say hello and see? I don't know, but hello and see. Oh, and hello, Dinny. The champ. The champ. Champ. There you go. Champ. Thanks for the raid. And uh, Russell uh, left a uh, Russell tackle throw on the bench for no specific reason. <laughs> yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. Because there is a Russell one. Mm. Yes. <laughs> yeah. 
That's interesting, isn't it? Like, fair enough having the three rookies on the LOS because you expect them to get wrecked. But the Wurzel one wasn't on the LOS. No, yeah, that's what I mean. Fair enough having the three rookies on yeah. the LOS. So, like, I can understand taking off the two better ones because you don't just want to have two wrestlers. You might not want to have two wrestler ones on the LOS just to get pommed, but yeah, you might as well have the wrestle tackle over wrestle. And this uh, team has a lot of dodge. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Look, they're all Five. they're all here in a row. Look, three three bludge guard in a row. <laughs> <laughs> Maximum protection. <laughs> oh, dear. Yeah, if 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 you're into the JFW, there's the link to uh to sign up to the two K twenty two upgrade. And hello, Matthew Nadal. Everyone will have to uh will have to fill in the sheet <laughs> at some point. <laughs> Oh god, there's so much work to do on GFW. I guess I'll do that tomorrow a bit. Yeah. Selmenia coming uh, when it is? The 3rd and 4th of April? Yeah, 2nd and 3rd. 2nd and 3rd of April. Uh, I don't know when the creation streams are starting because PS4 and 5 and Xbox, whatever, well, PS, PlayStation and Xbox, they, they get to uh, they get it on the 8th um, because they pre-ordered it but I, it, Steam keeps saying the 11th but then 2K have said even though it says the 11th you'll get it on the 8th but I'm not sure whether I'll get it on the 8th or not so maybe on the 8th there'll be creation streams but maybe it's the 11th <laughs> and yes well said Stor <laughs> well said Stor <laughs> yeah <laughs> And he went for the Blitz on the Thrall. Wow. That's a very nice uh, target of the Vampire. Yeah, you could have. Yeah, at, least he, at least he hit this guy and didn't, uh, didn't hurt him, did he? Did, did he not? Oh, did he Blitz the Thrall and then just mark him? Yep. I'll be honest, I haven't watched this game at all. Oh, so he blocked him, did he? Oh, yeah, he blocked him. Yeah, 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 yeah. He blocked him because he was... So he blitzed and he, he assisted and then just blocked him. Right. Got it. Sorry. Um, <laughs> um, and hello, KLZD. This is the first game, you know, so we're straight, we're, you know, straight into it live. Um, not much has Glorious. happened yet. No, I won't give in. <laughs> and until forgot I'm how slow live games are after doing replays yesterday. I was doing loads of replays yesterday. Yeah, it makes you forget Those how slow the live games are. Yeah, unfortunately, this glitches out sometimes, doesn't it? And this this just stays up all game, um, and there's no way to get rid of it. But they they sure are. Um, though the bribe is not an inducement, it was a kickoff event. And thank you very much, Phineas North, for staying fantastic for seven glorious months. Nearly two beaver pregnancies. <laughs> yeah, nearly. <laughs> 2K22 is weird. It seems to have all of the same bugs and stuff, so if it's still got rumbles that don't work, I'll be very, very, very disappointed. Like, I think it's, I think it's worth upgrading just for the, the you know, the dream of of rumbles working <laughs> yeah but i think uh, being uh, those kind of games it's gonna be a while until the patches come in and start uh, solving the problems that tend to plague launching uh, these days yeah. yeah i wouldn't have many hopes for everything working on launch day no that's all i want as well literally all i want is for the game to work and <laughs> and that was why i thought it was worth changing yeah, no, no, no. And also changing probably after WrestleMania or maybe a little earlier than that would be alright because there will be a few patches and like that. Yeah, it'll take a while to create everyone. So, yeah. Oof, gets the pow. So now he can blitz the pommer. Don't know, Dimmy. There are streams of it. Some people, like, you know, got the physical copy. And have and have just got it early. Oh, he's not blitzing the pommer. That's weird, isn't it? That he exposed this guy purely to hit the pommer, and now he's pushed him in the wrong square to to blitz the pommer. Interesting. I would have definitely gone for the mighty blow hit on the pommer. And they pushed him. There. Yes, that's the. Also, this is giving away a jump. I guess maybe he's going to foul him. Ah, maybe he's going to foul him. 
Let's not forget that the Blitzes have jump up and diving tackle, so those are very dangerous skills to use uh, against vampires. Yeah. Oh yeah, okay, could have gazed somebody and then got in, but weird. You know, like This is a really good player to hit. That, that's a, such a good player to blitz. So just pushing that guy away and then and then blitzing him seemed very good to me. That's all because he's giving another uh, free hit on the vampire. Just needs uh, one uh, guard uh, piece moving there. Oh, oh blood he's... last. <laughs> when he bits a wrestler, yikes. God, I hate blitzing wrestlers. Like, okay, wrestle tackle strip is a pretty good player, like, you know, but I really hate blitzing them because you don't take the ball down, do you? So, like, yeah, I think you're much better off hitting the defenseless guy or, or the tackle coming. It is pretty crazy, like about 2k wamps, I think, and about 1800. Maybe it's over, I think they're over 2k vamps and around 1800. Um, <laughs> Too much going on. <laughs> you need to get Elliot to help you, Dimmy. <laughs> Dimmy and the brain. <laughs> Yes, I mean, the planning, you know, being able to command the chances of the officers, both teams have, are mental because between the leap and the hypnotic gaze, they can go wherever they want at any time. Yeah. Ooh, big removal. Oh, big one, big one. Maybe should have blitzed him last turn, buddy. <laughs> yes, you have your chances. This is live, yes, to me. <laughs> yeah, the big brain among us players are always good. I might, I might, I might, I might, I might, I might export the, uh, might make a highlight of some of the Among Us games. Like some of the Among Us games are really fun, man. Well, I mean they were all fun, but like some will have made good content. Like, uh, <laughs> like the PC screaming one was fun, wasn't it? <laughs> PC just absolutely screaming. The chase, chasing around the cargo was the best, though. That was like full on Benny Hill. It was like about six of us running around the cargo at the end of the round. Come on, eh? Oh god, yeah, Dimmy. I, 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 I famously, well, not famously, I memorably, um, didn't beat vampires with my amazing chaos team because uh, I didn't count the squares and didn't realise he had a plus movement vampire which gave me a hit on the ball and it was very bad but random boy but yeah that four minute turns is is torture isn't it absolutely torture at least random boy tends to play quick yes yeah yeah. and it's it's I actually show every game because random boy knows how to play vamps when he's random boy yeah yeah can he... do absolutely crazy plays yeah, he played. He played it well, but like I, I would have been all right if I'd just counted squares. But like you know, I just, I just, I just looked at it and was like, "Well, I'm safe," and then didn't see the plus movement. I was like, "Uh oh, rot all." <laughs> um. Yeah, hello, Chunter. Yeah, Timmy and PC. <laughs> yeah, PC was just screaming, as in like shouting very loud. FD. Yeah, there was. Dimmy wasn't best pleased with it, I don't think, but um, yeah, that was because like Dimmy and PC were accusing each other, and Dimmy was, you know, when you when 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 Dimmy is like when you get when you do something at the same time as Dimmy, Dimmy is quite shouty, so it's like you've got like, and that's why me and Dimmy always get into the shouting matches with each other as well because it's like you've got to, you know, you when when it's Dimmy, you know you've got to get in there first and start shouting, otherwise he's gonna shout you. And then you, you're up shit creek. Him in vocally over him. That's a, a very nice way of putting it, Papa. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Woke up everyone in three blocks of him. <laughs> I think he did. <laughs> nope. Well, there you go. First leap fail. Yep. One bullet blast, one leap fail. We're draw there. 
the 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 sideline cage is exceptionally dangerous against vampires, but all the vampires are in midfield, aren't they? So like they just can't get there. That is the weakness of the vamps being slow. Um, even though you know they're a bit faster, right? Two move seven vampires, but I still think they're, they're yeah, way too I know, slow to get uh, over there. I mean, it's not like uh, <clears throat> the uh, toads are uh, very quick either. But Kislev, I have forgot the word Kislev. The Kislev are very quick either, but they're extremely agile. Yes. Like you know, like if 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 vampires were as fast as wood elves, <laughs> which I know it's asking a lot, then they would, you know, this would they would be surfing this ball, wouldn't they? But because they're because they're pretty slow, they're not going to be able to do that much. He can hit the ball here. Yeah. If he managed to hypnotize the the blitzer, I think he has a good chance of. Uh, can can he do it? Um. I, I, Nah, nah, very good. Nah. It's hard. Like, obviously, you'd love to because you could get this wrestling, couldn't you? The wrestler could go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So, like, you, you could get this wrestler in, but you've got to, like, gaze or hit a lot of things. Oh, and that's And double skulls doesn't help. It's something to be said for just blitzing this pommel. Before he starts, <laughs> before he starts murdering your entire team. I mean, yes, there is a vampire. I think he's going to blitz the, uh, the bomber now. He has the pro mighty blow uh, piece. There you go. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, pro. pro works. Pro. What? Cheeky pro. <laughs> yeah, that was great, Flux Streamer. Yeah, that was that was really great. I was loving it because it looks like it cleared. I was thinking this is pretty good because it's kind of looking like it clears at least one of me and uh, was it Sata? I don't know. It looked like it cleared one of us. The fact that we were with Dimmy and weren't killing him. So yeah, Dimmy was quite safe, chilling out. <laughs> There's two of them. I'm all right. And then boom, <laughs> dead Dimmy. <laughs> Yeah, we'll be doing the uh, we'll be doing the Dirtle game later, Tom Schmitz. Ah, Skuro, yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's it. I was like, I really hope Skuro doesn't kill here. Because like, you know, we can we can win the trust of Dimmy, like at least one of us. But then I uh, killed someone else, I was like, right. <laughs> See you later, Dim. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So I thought I thought the fact that I was there and you weren't dying would make you think that I was crew, right? <laughs> Right, this is not looking good for a Blood Bowl cast, is it? But there's not a lot happening, is there? Unfortunately, three minute turns is a long, it's a long fucking time yes, to just I watch mean, people thinking. You can blame the people thinking on this game because Jesus Christ Almighty. <laughs> yeah. You know, it's like, okay, there is the blood, the, uh, he blew last year, but maybe he can gaze here, then I can live there. Also, that is an actual nightmare of a game, you have to play it. <laughs> for sure. <laughs> Hello, Tibum. Hello, Neuros. <laughs> oh, I just, uh, I just did the bad thing there. Yeah, it's it's weird, isn't it? Like, and, yeah, all the gazes, and then you've got to think about: do they just activate to shake the gaze to get like activate guard and stuff? This, I mean, this is quite. I would have liked to have seen another, you know, vampire closer, I guess. But I guess he's got two over this side and then two centrals. So this is pretty hard to. Get away from the vamps this turn for the Kizzler. I so. think the play is trying to bomb the Mighty Blow Vampire. Yes, and then maybe he's just run back with a ball. Hmm. Yeah, 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 and stabilize at the back, covering, making a, some kind of a screen. Yeah, yeah. So at least, so. at least make the vampires have to act. That's how you beat vampires, making them move and making rolls. Yeah. So they have to roll a, a bloodlust. Yeah. yeah, you know people say like killing the thralls, but it's like you can kill the vampires pretty easy. They're only armor eight. Yes, so, or know, at least get, get rid the of them. I mean, very hard to kill because they have the apple and the yeah. and the regen. But 
taking him out, one of them out of the drive, he's a massive kid. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Because the thralls are shite. <laughs> yep. Yeah, that's the thing, like, you know, you can remove all the thralls and the vampires can still beat you. <laughs> yeah, they only need one thrall, two thralls. I mean, if it's a six, six vampires team, maybe you say, okay, there is only five thralls, so I take out two of them. Mm -hmm. It's gonna be very difficult, but with a five vampire team, you have six thralls. So yeah, maybe trying to also if you have the chance to hit the best vampire, yeah, you hit the best vampire, I guess. Yeah. Hello, Lou Bubaloo. Go Kislev. Yeah, always, always got to support Kislev, haven't you? Um, every single game Kislev play, I'm always cheering the Kislev. <laughs> <laughs> Except Monday at 7 p.m. UTC, that's the exception. Hey, there you go! <laughs> <laughs> what a huge match. <laughs> Hello, Frosty. Oh, gets the pow. No, pile on. Pile on, pile on. <laughs> oh my god. Nothing. That was the chance. That was the chance. Oh boy. Because the vampires only have uh, another tackle piece on the pitch right now. Thing is, uh... yeah, that, the that was definitely the play to, to try and nail that. Yes, down. and because there is only another vampire with tackle, the one with extra movement. Yeah, they've got two, but I mean, this is the big one as well, isn't he? Because he can very easily yeah, mighty blow, bro. shit people. Wow, he's trying to... Well, I was going to say, that's a bit rowdy trying to guard lock him. <laughs> trying to guard lock the team that can just gaze you. <laughs> was a bit rowdy. And then I think he realised his error. <laughs> yes, yes. yes. Uh, hello, Steve Morty. Hello. Oh, dear me. <laughs> that was weird. It was like, it was like, let's go, and then he's like, wait a minute. <laughs> I probably don't want to do this actually. I think right now the thing is uh, looking good for the vampires. They have a lot of uh, kids left more or less under control. They don't need to move much. Yep. <laughs> Ball behind. Turn four. Turn, it's going to be turn five for the kids left. Mm. And they're going to have to cover a lot of pitch. I'm coughing my guts out here, sorry. Sorry for uh, having to meet occasionally. <sighs> because they don't look like scoring. I mean, not yet, but they've got time, right? They've got they've got four more turns. They can get back yes. here one turn, and then two, three, four. So they're, they're well, they're well, they're well. I mean, they're not in control of the drive, but they're, there's a vamp down, so they've got like a bit of an advantage, haven't they? They've just got a... It's just a mess because the vamps can gaze people and punch them and... It's I think hard, the it? it's a good vamp team. The, we're gonna see a catcher uh, doing a potato attempt soon. <laughs> At least to have someone down the field. Yeah, I guess I guess there are two vamps one side and none the other. So like maybe he's gonna try and you know get the oh that was a nice chain on a nice chain to get the mighty blow hit on the catcher. Very nice. Oh yes. Risk. He needs to put a throw close to the, the mighty blow bump. Yeah, that's the problem if he uh, if he put low. <laughs> mighty blow last could be you know out for the rest of the the drive. Luckily, he doesn't bloodlust because that's diamond tackle as well. So there was, I guess, if he fails it, he hits him and then dodges away. Wow, gets the hit, <laughs> Jim Yorn, yeah, you know, it was a late Among Us night. <laughs> what can I say? 
<laughs> and did loads of Blood Bowl yesterday as well. I am absolutely exhausted. I think it is a good idea to have an early night tonight. And, uh, and uh, no, two. Two, Dimmy. But I went to bed at six. <laughs> so, like, I, I got eight hours, but I'm still tired. <laughs> Absolutely useless stand for the vamp. Nothing work. <laughs> yeah, that was terrible. Oh yeah, I'll definitely watch Hotel. Yeah, obviously, Gary. <laughs> I mean, some things take priority at the end of the day, you know. When you say Hotel, you mean the series of the 80s or... Uh... Yeah, yeah, that's the one. Have you, have you, I, I, have you seen it on Arts Channel? Or, or, I guess not, but you, did you see it at the time or like have you seen it since? Or? I've seen, I remember seeing it a little at the time. I remember it was the two main characters was a guy with a beard and a massive hair. <laughs> yes. No, the, the, the hair was pure 80s and the girl, yes. Yeah, yeah, there you go. Art, Art's got the girl and I've got the beard. <laughs> Yeah, 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 no, because it's, uh, yeah, it was, yeah, remember it uh, being shown in, uh, in Spain, yes. Glorious. Yeah, yeah, Art plays it, like, quite late at night uh, on his stream, and it's it's amazing. <laughs> those those uh, streams of uh, 17 or 20 hours uh, Art streams, yeah. where he can sleep. <laughs> well, I think a hotel is a better option than when he was just... Swimming down the cesspool of Twitch, trying to find the weirdest stuff ever. Yes, yeah, that's true. <laughs> that is very true. Oh dear. I hope we'll get beard in uh, 2K22. That'd be good, wouldn't it? <laughs> maybe, maybe Connie Selica as well. <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> yeah. Yes, and I have a word of advice, guys. If you're going, uh, you're watching an uh, art stream, always close the stream when you leave the computer. <laughs> Don't uh, leave the computer on with the stream there and go something and forget about it because when you come back, it will be a, who knows where you're going to be and to what you have got a gifted subscription because one simp paid like a hundred subscriptions <laughs> on uh, uh, one of these uh, lady streamers. <laughs> and they're like, what the hell is this? <laughs> Yep. <laughs> oh dear. So yeah, it looks like maybe you should try and rotate a bit, right? Because there's there are there is these four here, right? Well, kind of five here. So maybe if you could punch and then like if you could punch this guy and then leap here, then you can get over there. Yeah, so maybe you should try and move. You know, the problem with the ball is if he gets close and it's unsupported. Then the vamps can come for it, so it's like it's pretty tricky. Oh, nice bow! Oof! Oof! Also, the fact that the I think the fact that the blitz soft diving tackle is really, really uh, annoying for the vamps because it's still all the mobility from them. Ooh, yeah, but that nice it just makes up. them it just makes them bigger gaze targets, doesn't it? <laughs> so it's like yes, <laughs> but the gaze is the last action of the vamp, so at least. Ooh! Ooh, oh, oh. Ooh. Do you app all this? Guaranteed app all to work. Yes, he does. Yeah. Yes, yes. You don't risk the regen. Yeah. Boy, howdy. That really, this mighty blow vamp though is right in the worst spot for getting forward, isn't it? And you kind of almost have to get forward this turn. But there's no one free to foul except this guy. I guess this guy could leap. GFI foul. Like, and then if you if you foul him out, then you can move the ball forward. Yeah, but if the other guy leaves, also leaves uh, two throws free. Yeah. <laughs> No one said it was perfect. <laughs> no, 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 no. But yeah, you need to take care. Of, I mean, Kislev has the wizard, you know, and Kislev with a wizard uh, are extremely annoying. So, yeah. All right, so he's not moving forward this turn, which is going to make it a little bit tight to get forward and score. <laughs> yes, Pedro. <laughs> Yeah, I quite like going for that hit and, and not pushing him there. So that then you could have, well, if you powered him, like, you know, push him somewhere else, then leap to there and then get around, like, you know, get forward. But I guess now I'd, I'd favour trying to foul this guy. 
Androgyny instead of leaping. You've got a leap. It's a, it's a three plus. Yeah. And also you get you you get more space. Yeah, he could have, he could have leapt over there and fouled. He's not going for the foul. Oh, maybe he just wanted to keep it. No, I think they just the... yeah, just keep the screen. Yeah. Or run out of time. Uh, maybe, yeah, maybe, maybe he ran out of time. Yeah. Like keeping the screen is fine. He's keep, he's he's marking a down player and he's keeping the screen. Um, but uh, yeah, I would have liked the leap there, two, three, four, five, and then foul. That would have been pretty good, I think. God, the, the vamps have not done well, have they? They've had a guy cast, a guy KO'd. And no, no gaze has been very good. Hit the pommer, did nothing. <laughs> There's a bloodlust. Oh, stand firm, blocks. I'm getting a PTSD from the Chorf Dorf game of yesterday. <laughs> Not dead. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh my god. No. He's he's putting every he's he's putting everything in the twat magnet bear, isn't he? That's uh it's not that so good piece to you know invest so much. That's such an investment, that's so many players. Five players in a 9x9 nine nine square, that's not good. That's what 1D there. Yeah, he kind of had to, didn't he? Ding! Beautiful, beautiful kill. Oh, but now he needs to uh, stay there because Diving Tackle. Yep, Diving Tackle, yep. Yeah. Which has nothing work at all in any game I've watched this season. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's done literally nothing, has it? The Durban Tackle. The problem is, like, putting him on his ass doesn't really cost him anything because he's got jump up anyway. Oh, he's going for the dodge foul, but he's really going full twat magnet here. He wasn't happy enough with five players in a 9x9 nine nine square. He wanted six players in a 9x9 nine nine square. <laughs> now there is a. I don't know, can you spot the weak point in this defense? <laughs> uh, yes, yes, or, uh, you know, maybe it's a trap space. <laughs> if it was Dio, it would be definitely be trap space. <laughs> but, um, yeah, that's actually a huge removal, isn't it, the, the catcher? Because that was his own, like, because he didn't move forward last turn, now he's got to, like, give it to Edge 3, I guess. It's, it's, yes, is... that's why I'm so surprised that they're getting so massive investment on the beer. If you could move people to the right side, just a throw or two of them, that would be a massive problem for the his left, anyway. Yeah, yeah, I really liked, I really liked either moving the catcher so he couldn't be blitzed by this guy, you know, which he didn't. Or fouling that guy, and then and then you know moving the ball up, and he just did neither of those things. Which, uh, yeah, he, as much as he's got acres of space over here, it, it's rough having to give it to an H three. I would have rerolled that one. That uh, is turn six. He has three rerolls. Side step uh, bump, juicy target. I don't think you're gonna make many more rolls this turn. I mean, I mean, it's not, it's not terrible, right? Because he doesn't actually have to hand it off. He does, actually doesn't have to, but he, he can go seven. But then he needs to go seven, seven again. Um, oh, it's handing off. Yep. Okay, then yes, they save the reroll if you want to go for the. Uh, now. Yeah. Yeah, Tom Schnees, did did you not see the match last night? It was. Uh, it was. It was. It was also a gym screen. I, it's what I did in the, in the World Cup qualifiers. God, caution. Yeah, that, that's the thing, caution. That's the thing. I, I, I really don't get the... Uh, I really don't get the whole gate dodges thing. Gate dodges? Yeah. You people are you, uh, adding more terms every day. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? <laughs> I guess it is fun to see. Oh god, the around the piece of cargo. The around the piece of cargo was incredible. <laughs> Up and down the ladder twice. <laughs> the cargo one was like full Benny Hill. We had like six people running around the cargo. Oh, 
I, I did not like this. I think you get a guy there so that you've got a screen, <laughs> and wow. then you, and then you try like if you want to try a one D to do something, then do it. But I just think that was wrong. I think like okay, he would have failed if he'd done other things, but just get the guy, get this guy there without rolling dice, and then you know either either one D blitz with him or you know. Yeah, now there is uh, some space to hit the ball. Yeah, it looks like there might be a might be a way to hit the ball here. Uh, there's a bit of a gap in the screen. <laughs> you can uh, hit the lineman uh, doing that, then move the vampire, hypnogaze the blitzer. Yeah. So there is no diving tackle, or hit the blitzer. Yep. Oh, he's put he's put him in, which I think was the wrong thing. So I think you had to try to gaze him. What a moment to do a blue last. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay, he could have hit with the wrestle tackle the guard the guard piece to dice and then move the wrestle uh, piece. It's it's not easy to hit him though, because there's guard there, guard stand firm, so that's why I say that hitting the with the wrestle kick. Yeah. But but then, but then you're not you're not guaranteed to do anything. I think you just had to he had to gaze he had to gaze the pod. I think he had to. But I guess he's got this gaze now, so now he gets to hit. Now he gets to hit this guy. With get with getting that gaze in, but. Oh, this guy can this guy reach? No. So here we go. No tackle, but he's got to re-roll. It does an irrelevant block first. That's because I mean, okay to one in thirty six, but he gets well, a cast. Now it became a better brilliant, brilliant play. Brilliant play doing play. that completely irrelevant block. Fantastic. Re reading the pitch properly. Genius, absolute genius play. <laughs> Does he just roll, you have push? to reroll this. He should have thought before he did it, right? He's got two minutes thirteen seconds. Like, giving yourself 15 seconds to think about it is no good. You need to think before you make that blitz. Which is another thing that I hate about Blood Bowl 2, by the way. Because you've only got 15 seconds for the re-roll. Wow, imagine if he had re-rolled it, he would have re-rolled it into... Oh. into he just rolled quads. But if he had re-rolled it, he would have got dub skulls. So there you go. But you've got you've got to think... <laughs> he brought... What a pro dub skull. That's the, you know, that's a... Uh... <laughs> wow. Yeah. <laughs> but like, uh... Oh, ah, so no, okay, that was That was a reroll, Jim, and you know it. The, the fact that we know that later could have been dub skulls or something like that. No, I, I don't know that it's, it's... Because it's how hard for him, is it for him to score, you know? Like, 3-3, three, three, maybe, but then you get a two-turn out of it. So, like, it's not easy for him to stall, so, like... It's the point is he should have he should have thought about whether he was going to reroll before he made the blitz right because he's got two minutes yeah. for his turn he had to spend I, that time thinking it looked like he didn't think and then he had to make a decision in fifteen seconds and obviously you can't make as good a decision in fifteen seconds as you can in two minutes but it's just a shit thing about Blood Bowl two that you get this fifteen second chunk instead of the two minutes that you have of your turn it really grinds my gears. <laughs> Yes, yes, yes. Everybody that follows your channel knows about that. Yeah, that's true. I that's agree, true. I, also, I, I think it's a complicated uh, thing to do. But maybe if instead of 15 seconds, giving people 20 seconds or a time bank. Just let them use a... their turn. Let them use their turn. Like it's so stupid that they have to. They have to think in advance of rolling a one in nine chance. Like it's so stupid. But I think it was a reroll because uh, it was turn six for the vampires and they have two rerolls. Yeah. But just but they've got two minutes, big lad. Let people use their two minutes turns. Don't give them an extra fifteen second chunk. It's so fucking stupid. It's so unimaginably stupid. Or it's not because it's cyanide, so you expect them to be that stupid. But it shouldn't have been that stupid. <laughs> we'll give them. You know, 15 seconds that doesn't count for the turn time, and then the turn continues. No, you wouldn't need extra turns. Just let them use their turn time for re-rolls. <laughs> you don't need to have longer turns. Just let them use their turn time for re-rolls. Like, obviously, you've got to have the 15 seconds for sidesteps and stuff.
<sighs> I mean, yes, caution, but that's like saying I'll, I, I'd, I'd rather be kicked in the nuts than decapitated. <laughs> it's like I was going to say exactly the same. <laughs> <laughs> Two minutes and now, will be fine. And now the kids left. Oh, I think. Dumb oh wait a second, wait a second. Ah, yeah. <laughs> God, this has been some wild dice, hasn't it? Usually these games have wild dice, but this is, you know, extra wild dice. Yeah, he had to GFR. Well, maybe he didn't. One in six. Like. This would be a do two dodgers and a double GFI, and then having to power blodger. So you could argue that maybe he didn't have to GFI there, but obviously now he just can't get hit at all. So, but he can still get hit by the thrall. So he makes another one. Whew. And he still can't be hit by the thrall. Well, he should have one deed him, shouldn't he? I think I think he was able to be activated. He should have. Well, I guess maybe he. Probably do because it's only adding a three plus. So yeah, you probably like if you're gonna make those GFIs without a reroll. Yes. I guess you, you make are a taking, without a reroll. You are taking a three plus <laughs> to avoid the, uh, him getting you with a three plus. So, oof. <laughs> but no, now we are seeing why it should be a uh, one dice because now vampire comes, even no gaze, yep. and the, the guy gets uh, like that. That's it. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, definitely, hundred percent should have one dude, Yeah, depends who's kicking you in the nuts. <laughs> <laughs> if one next to 15 seconds to think about it. Oh dear. <laughs> oh dear me. Wow. It's all been action now, hasn't it? Like, after, after just nothing for the first, uh, the first five turns, nothing happened. Now it's gone crazy. Boring threat, which nice. he, I agree because that vampire is useless <laughs> anyway. Yeah. yeah, he's not doing anything else, yeah. The B are taking care of three thralls. Yeah. Wait, could, couldn't if he have based? Shouldn't if he have, couldn't he not have based for the assist? I don't know where this guy was, but couldn't he have? No, mm. it was, yeah, that way was uh, down. He got the uh, blitz past turn. Yeah, but... Was he down here? Mm. All right, was he down in the tackle zone? Okay. Yeah. So, one, two, three, GFI. So he could have made it if he had gazed him first. That's a good question, Squirrel Dude. I don't, I don't. I mean, that's the thing, nobody knows what's best, do they? That's the thing. As much as, as, much as uh, Dio's on the right track with the whole equity thing, um, nobody actually knows anything anyway. <laughs> so it's, it's a bit. <laughs> there's a bit of a disadvantage to that. Way, get mighty blood. <laughs> and cast. <laughs> I have to say, well, they self. I don't know what you're trying to achieve. Uh... He's just so drawn. He's just, he's just drawn to the twat magnet, isn't he? He can't, he can't escape it. He's got to yes, hit this. Yes. <laughs> it's got these guys are free, so you can blitz him, power him, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You can't do that, can you? Like, he could have blitzed him first. He, this guy's jump up. He could have pumped him. Oh, and then what? They risk the one in nine with the dodge. Well, then oh. then, then you do the 1D, which is essentially the same as a GFI anyway, right? Like, almost. Like, it was, I think it was definitely worth hitting him. You've got a good chance to pound him, and if you do, then you get the easy assist. I think he, ha I think he had to blitz. Oh, oh, yeah, shit, yeah, that uses your blitz. Oh, my God, I'm a moron. <laughs> I was really there, wasn't it? Flip me. Why didn't he just make two blitzers in one turn? That was the obvious play, wasn't it? Just just break yeah, the fundamental that. rules of Blood Bowl, make two blitzers. Easy play. Duh. Why wouldn't you do that? Ria, I'm definitely, definitely no Among Us tonight. Definitely no Among Us tonight. I'm going to have to be sharper than this tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, 
I'm definitely going to have to be sharper than this tomorrow. Oh, dear me, that was horrendous, wasn't it? Not the worst idea anyone's had in a Blood Bowl match today, by the way. But... <laughs> <laughs> we'll get to that later. <laughs> oh dear. Oh dear me. Who knew that playing who knew that playing Among Us to like 4am isn't 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 isn't, the, isn't conducive to good blood ball. Dear. Right. Oh well, God. Yes. Yeah. He, no, he did totally the right thing there. <laughs> totally the right thing. Oh dear me. Chance of the one turn for the vampires have a movement seven, so it's possible. Yeah, seven sidestep as well. Yeah. Yeah, not terrible. Has he got diamond tackle on every square? No, but he's got he's got this one. Uh, he's got the tail. Because he can't have diamond tackle every square, can he? Because he got one cast. Yeah. So maybe you should have done this to the side then. Just I mean, it's okay. You can move. You can move diagonally, but still, maybe you should have set them all up on the other side. <laughs> I guess some people just gravitate naturally to one side, and you just did that. But like, I'm sure he's going to have enough diagonal movement to get over there anyway, so it really doesn't matter. Oh god. Oh yeah, the self-bolt was amazing. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say that, Red Hair. I was going to say that. Slices of equity. My opponent is right handed, so. Hmm. Is that is that like a, a, just a scientific fact, is it? <laughs> I think it's just a thing, a random thing to do with no scientific basis at all. There's no actual proof, but it is scientific fact. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> It's been said in a blue ball stream, which everybody knows has the biggest minds in the world. <laughs> oh, there is proof. All oh, right. No, Diddle, no. It's 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 a it's a it's a uh, it's a reference to uh, <laughs> to uh, a British TV show. <laughs> a very a very subtle reference, but some people will get it, like Shawnee, and and that's enough for me. <laughs> Shouldn't you have just gone there for the assist? Does it matter? Three, four, five, six. No, three, four, five, six. Indeed, indeed, Brass Eye. Yes, indeed. Nice What's the blue last? Sorry, Fimea, that's why I couldn't hear you. Hello? Hello? Can you hear me now? Yep. Alright. Oh, that's not going to be enough. Yeah. No, I know it's bloodless, but he could have stood here, couldn't he, and bit him? That's what I'm saying, and given himself an extra attack. Give him an extra assist. Yeah, it doesn't matter, does it? Actually, the power doesn't matter, because he can use this guy oh, yeah, now. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yep, yeah, absolutely fine. Oh, it does, because now he hasn't. he can't push himself forward one. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. All right, all right, all right. Good point. Good point, Bazaar. He had to push into this guy. 
and push him forward, didn't he? He had to push into this guy and sidestep to here, and then push him and get him to there, and then push him and get him to there, and then push with that vampire. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Baza was right. Baza was here. That was that was what happened to him. He had to he had to push into he had to get a push. So he should have rerolled that. He had to push into this vampire with him sidestep to there. This guy pushes, or whoever, yeah, whoever, but this guy pushes to there, this guy pushes to there, and then that vampire pushes the last one. So yeah, he needed the push there. It's Baza! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so you really should re roll that power. Or made it 3D, like he could have maybe moved the vampire up who was getting it. He could have bloodlusted from the different square, then moved that vampire up who was, who was going to get the ball to make it a 3 dice. So, oh, the vampire stays out. Ooh. Huge, huge KO, and it's the sure hands and pro as well. Yes, that's. Problematic for the vampire scoring. Well, he has to carry on a throw because there is a wizard ball. Yeah, good point. Good point. Yeah. But but yeah, but that would have affected uh, after the yes. wizard. He would have had. He would have had a show after the wizard. Right? And also, it's a vampire. Uh, one of yes. his main pieces. <laughs> yes, you'd rather have five than four. <laughs> Clever insight from Jim. <laughs> <laughs> Better to have five strength four agility four guys with um, with hypnotic gears than it is to, <laughs> to have four. Won't get this kind of analysis anywhere else, guys. <laughs> amazing, amazing things happening here. <laughs> Wanna grab some water while well, they apart, apart from the two. <laughs> Apart from the two stand, apart from the two sure hands, there's no sure hands. Apart, apart from the mighty blows, there isn't any mighty blow. And apart from the guards, there's no guards. Aha, <laughs> uh -huh, there's a, a riot. I mean, I guess it helps the wamps. I mean, it's really because the thing is, if you carry on the thrall to counter the wizard, then then you get wrecked by the rackle strip, don't you? So like, it's really hard. It's really hard, like, it's, it's so hard against fans, against Kislev, like, you know, I'm, because you probably have to just carry on that van against a wizard, because otherwise this Rackle Strip is going to get you, or whatever, like, you know, Edge 4 Leap Guarders are going to come in and ruin your day, very difficult, so you, yeah, you do want to carry on a van. Like against Rick, I'll just have to carry it on a on like a rookie, probably a lineman. But All right, I'm back. Hello. What was the kickoff? It was a riot that uh, that made us skip a turn. Oh, yeah, I did not like exposing this Rackle strip because. <laughs> <laughs> this Rackle, <laughs> like, I, I don't know if there's anywhere, I guess he couldn't, maybe he could have exposed the Bludge Guard instead, but, like, that Rackle Strip meant that he couldn't carry it on the Thrall, right? Because, you know, if, if he's, just, he's just going to get stripped, then... Yes, you strip. wanna, it, it will be in a leap and a uphill. Yeah. Or a wanna, like, you know, he, he could get, he, he's got edge four guards, isn't it? So he could, like, he could have easily one-diced, uh... Vampires with it, and he could have obviously two dice thralls. So yeah, he's carrying on a vampire. Maybe he didn't, but I don't think he has to now. But it's it's just hard. It's so hard against Kislev with a wizard because like you want to have you know the strength four bludger with a ball, but then obviously that means that makes the wizard that much more devastating, doesn't it? When the wizard finally comes in. Wow! 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 He's just cast his own guy. So he casts <laughs> he casts the. Rackler then casts his throw. <laughs> alive for alive. Yeah. Ten men versus ten. 
<laughs> oh dear, this isn't my this isn't my finest game ever, is it? <laughs> there is a skill of thrown on the bench. Again. Again. Nah. Oh wow. Oh, I guess it's kick. So he thinks he wants his kick for overtime because it like his best case scenario is overtime, isn't it? So I guess yes. that makes more sense. To be fair. Yeah. That, that and kick versus vampires is really really good because they are not very fast and none of them is gonna get ever kick off return. <laughs> yeah. I, I I can I can see the point. I can see the point of sitting him out to make sure you've got kick for overtime. But I think. I think you probably would rather have Bressel, wouldn't you? To be fair, but even if you put them uh, on the low ace, it's an armor eight piece. So, sorry, no, it's a throw. It's a... Yeah, yeah, throw. Yeah, so it's it would, a, it would give you throw, another yeah. wrestle to do things. Yeah, with, another wrestle but... to do things. Yes, but it would mean that you might lose your kick for overtime. I think, I think I would rather, and like overtime is the only way you win, but then you might win the toss. So I think I would probably have the wrestle player on the field and then hope I win the toss because you can't there's no point you know you there's no point having a kicker for overtime if you don't get to overtime is there <laughs> yeah. like, no I agree and especially when there are throws without the skills so like okay yeah better to have a wrestle especially versus a team like this where uh, getting them on the ground you know is really really good yeah and they've got so much they've got so much like bludge in that haven't they that having an extra wrestler is is pretty decent Nine versus nine, isn't it? I think. Yep. Is he going for the? Is he going for the? <laughs> no, don't, no, don't tell me he who are trying to go for the beer. <laughs> Surely not. <laughs> I don't understand what the. I don't, really don't understand what the vampire is doing there. Oh, maybe he was going for the catcher with guard. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because this guy's. This guy's stupid as well, so he could have yes. gone one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, maybe. Maybe. Oh, the oh, one with guard, the yeah, one the one with guard, guard, yes. yeah. That's really dodgy, though, because he could be wrestled next to a bear, which is not what you want, is it? Like, don't you just blitz either the skill the sky or this this blitzer isn't good enough, isn't it? If you've got, you've got your mighty blow over here. I think it's gonna be the guard, the uh, guard. Maybe he was gonna, maybe he was gonna gaze him, get an assist in next to the bear, and then hit him with a mighty blow. That was that makes sense, doesn't it? That kind of makes sense. Yeah. Except we've had GFI to hit, so it doesn't really make sense. <laughs> Nobody knows. He doesn't seem to have had very good, uh, very good dice this game, though, does he? Russell Storm, I would say. Oh, he still made two cars, I guess. And he uh, managed to cast one of his own. So <laughs> yeah. Oh, in comes the foul with a skilled up throw. He's got an unskilled one right here. <laughs> he does not value wrestle on his thralls that much. That I'm much. Yes, it's clear. <laughs> <laughs> really not a fan of wrestle. <laughs> There could be a there could be a gaping hole made here to try and but I don't know what you do. It's 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 still tough from Kislev. Kislevs are weird, aren't they? Because they can they can do things, but also fail <laughs> in the most spectacular ways. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yes, Timo. Yeah. I think taking Hail Mary passes the trap of all the, of all the things that Dio's done. 
<laughs> it seems most of his advice is the is the trap advice. <laughs> Just let your ball carry a good hit. It won't. It'll be fine. <laughs> a long-term investment, you know. Once everybody has Elmer Pass on their team, you know, uh, he'll get a twenty TV advantage. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Or yeah. forty TV advantage. Yeah, don't bother with tackle. Just put your players in the right squares. Yeah, it's just trap advice from from Dio. I think most of the time. <laughs> yeah, we'll find out. We'll find out that Dio in, invented the Bonehead podcast all along. <laughs> oh, armor break and. <laughs> Huge! It's the removal. Yep, massive, mega. Oh, Jack Napier. <laughs> oh, Three vampires left. He's left with a wizard. One, uh, one up. It's Rough. crazy, isn't it? It's a crazy Rough. team. Crazy game. Eight versus nine. Yeah. Ah, so it's uh, very uncommon to see a uh, left team so developed as this one. Yeah. Yeah, you know, two, once, three, two. Sorry. You know, usually when uh, Kislev players get to skills, tend to die uh, leaping. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Yeah, I wonder if he'll, if he'll try a leap here. Yeah, it's an, uh, 2K22 is annoying. We, we should be able to preload on PC, but we can't. We just couldn't earlier. Not a leap here, no. A leap here. To me. Leap here. It could be a leap here, and then yes, as we all know, there's a good chance of death from a leap. Maybe you should just dodge. <laughs> Reduce the chance of death. But I mean, he's not under a lot of threat, is he, from the rookie? But it, he's still going to punch. Like, he's still getting punched unless he uh, covers him somehow. Yeah, Maybe the mighty the blow uh, vampire is still there. Yeah, true. Yeah, just can't get them on. Can't get it on Steam yet. Oh, wow, there you go. Le double skulls. Kind of. One in nine. Well, okay then. I guess. Why are you putting that guy there if you're going to please with the vampire? I mean, if you're going to punch this guy. Alright, alright. Then you're better off punching this guy. This guy's just doing nothing, is he? Now, this guy's doing literally nothing. This one's giving him the assist. I guess now well, he could have blitz. He could have blitz from the square where the uh, tackle uh, Gressel <laughs> is. Yeah, yeah. It's no, bad. because yeah, I don't understand what his ideas were that turn. Fouling. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. See, Dimmy, Dimmy's, Dimmy's the champ. He's got the inside information. It was for the foul. Get the foul on the stun player. I guess it's okay going high risk now because. Oh, does he still have his bribe? Yeah, he still got yes. his bribe, so yeah. Not even high risk, really. <laughs> Future champion. <sighs> Kislev do have a wizard, yep. This is... Uh... This is prime fireball bait it could be a trap i mean there's no tackle is there on the like the kislev i would not i would not dream of wizarding here because you've got no tackle you've got nowhere to get their strength four guy down i would just want to bolt him so this could actually be a wizard a trap wizard um. <laughs> i'm sorry dio don't don't hate me dio if you're watching <laughs> I don't think that was part of Russell's storm plan. No, maybe not. Yeah, Night Demon's got a good chance of being champion. And Pepper Biscuit and Noalias. <laughs> Goliath. 
<laughs> I don't know why. I don't know why those guys, Clavius. I don't know. I don't know why these guys seem to have a, a kind of a higher chance of being champion than. than, than well, well, because they are better wrestlers, you know. Uh, uh, the GFW is based on talent, yeah. not on bribes. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I haven't had much of one, Jack Nip here, because I slept in massively after playing Among Us all night. <laughs> oh yeah, Jimmy Fantastic, he he might he might win he might win the odd strap, yeah, that's a good that's a good point. Jimmy Fantastic, he's a he's a really good wrestler. So is uh, Table Leg Wanger. Yeah, funny those guys, aren't they? Skurumetso, Rick Reckless, Fimir, all these guys, I don't know. I don't know how they do it, but they're, they're just really good at it. I, I don't need another belt. I already got one uh, once, and that's it. Uh, that's it. I like my run short and easy. <laughs> <laughs> likes his championship runs like he likes his women. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, now that we're playing, uh, watching a Vampire's game, I can tell you that I like uh, my woman like uh, a vampire. Living at first light, but unfortunately, as vampires, women in my bedroom are also a fantasy, fantastic creatures. <laughs> oh, <dear. laughs> oh, man. <laughs> He's all hype, see, Sams? I'll have you know, Jimmy Fantastic is the number one best wrestler at getting beaten up for 10 minutes and then somehow hitting one move and winning. <laughs> Oh, man. Yes, that's why I say, you know, people, oh, because they want the, you, you know, to uh, suck you dry. They like, know because they leave. <laughs> <at first light. laughs> yeah. But unfortunately, as vampires, they are fantastic creatures that doesn't exist. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, mean, I was expecting sucking, to be honest. <laughs> Anyway, <laughs> blood last talking about it. Blood last. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Flip me, guys. Oh dear. <laughs> Mrs. Pagla will be happy with all the family comedy. That's good. <laughs> <laughs> Plenty, plenty of material for Mrs. Bogla. <laughs> Ooh, there's the removal on the pommer. He wanted to do that. About, about 12 turns ago, I think. Uh, <laughs> it's finally got rid of the pommer. Uh, but it has the pommer. Well, I mean, it's not just the pommer, has it? There has been uh, yes. vampire bites as well. But still, the pommer has been pretty decisive overall. Both teams very... Whoa! <laughs> Angel! What is, what is his obsession with this bear? <laughs> He's even uphilling it, Jesus Christ. The, the bear has done absolutely nothing. Yeah, he got a cast because someone hit him and it failed. You know, the bear, I don't think the bear has done any, even a block all game. Or move more than two squares. <laughs> just, just you know the poor. Wow! Well, he thought that was worth a wizard. Interesting. Interesting. Three tackle zones in the ball that can be made. Oh. Yeah, he can get it down to one tackle zone, can't he? Or he can try yes. and scatter that. I mean, that was a really good scatter for him, really. Like, I, I don't know. I'm not sure about that wizard. It, like. These three are real bad. This one, I guess, could be really good. Yeah, he's got he's got three players around here, hasn't he? So this this would have been a good scatter. But like these ones aren't particularly good, are they? Interesting, interesting that he did it then. There I would have rather waited to with... like you know. To, yeah, a little uh, later maybe you have here. a. Okay, the jump up there to give you a. Yeah, caution, but like, you know, a little later just so that. Oh, God. Just so that you can, like, get him down, right? Like. But isn't it better if they've got one turn and it's on the floor? <laughs> like. 
Oh, interesting scatter for the kids left. Yeah. Oh, the bears oh, on the, the ball. Oh, the moves, the bear moves. <laughs> oh, that's a really good score for the bigger too. Yep. Russell Storm's thinking, my God, all game I've been hitting him and, and here he is. I couldn't get rid of him and he's at the, exactly the right point. <laughs> and now you try to pick up the ball, I guess. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, 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 oh. Hey, Thrall's got it. Oh, 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 oh my yeah. god, that was really unfortunate. Well, there you go. <laughs> All of a and sudden. now, the bumps, chances of scoring have increased. Yep. Yep, that's, that's huge. I mean, the scatter has a one, two, three, four. At least five squares. <laughs> so here, so one, three, four. Yeah, four very good squares behind the BR or uh, down. And yeah, the... to be fair, yeah, yeah. These two were amazing. Yes, I mean, it was a 50% uh, pickup, and then you have a lot of good scatter. So, yeah, it's... I would do that play every day of the week. Two bad ones. Wow, yeah, two... two... Kind of really bad ones. Two really good ones. One that can go either way. Two which are fine. Well, three that are fine. Three that are if fine. It, two real good, two real bad. Just imagine the beer getting the ball. <laughs> yes, it'd be awesome. <laughs> Massive equity denial. <laughs> Right, so you blitz him and then dodge away and then block him and then put a screen and everything. Oh. I do not like that. I guess now you don't need to hit him though, so that gives you another... Oh, he can blitz, I guess. And then you don't need to activate the vamp. Nope, he's not going to... Oh, I think that's just a waste to do that, right? If, you, if you're going to... No, if you're going to free him up... Oh, because there's, the, uh, there's, there's this here, maybe. Yeah, okay. Well, no, he's five already, isn't he? Yep. This isn't, this isn't relevant, is it? He's strength three, four. And you've got the assist here. So this just wasn't... This just doesn't do anything. In fact, I thought he was going to blitz with that guy. Yeah, blitz with chain that guy. Push, uh, yeah. Chain push the vampire uh, outside. Yeah. You know, chain push the vampire free, and then you have the rest of the movement of the thrall to move up. This guy doesn't have diving tackle to me. That was weird, wasn't it? I, I don't, I don't get. Like after gazing him, I don't get moving him around. Wait, what? Ah, oh, okay, so now he's gazed so he can hand it off. I guess there's that. I mean, he's put he's stuck anyway on a push. Isn't he? Like, he's stuck anyway because he's got a diamond tackle. Oh, big 1D reward. Huge. Lovely, rando, cheeky 1D. Kids never just run out of players now and have no and have no wizard either because they didn't save it for a for a little bit later, which I I kind I like you know I you know again I'm not saying I'm right. It's just that I like to save the wizard till as late as possible. And yes, because sometimes you are, it's you are it's ahead. Too you are ahead. You don't need to go for the two nil. You are already one nil. So yeah. like so, sometimes it's too late. You know, like uh, my game against Sindane in the playoffs. I waited too long. Well, I mean it was only a turn too long, but it was still. I still waited to turn too long, and then he slaughtered my team, and it was it was too late. <laughs> but like the Kislev weren't in that much danger of getting slaughtered, even though they have been like just randomly over the last few turns, they've had loads of people removed. Uh, but you know they weren't really. I mean, yeah, caution. That's a bit of a calcium foul. Like it was. It, it was really unlikely to be terrible for him, I think. I think he got one of the worst possible scatters there. 
<laughs> one of the absolute, like, you know, must have been one in lots to have been that bad. Yeah. And I mean, uh, so he was already him. invested. He was already invested on the play, so you need to keep going with the play. Yeah, I, I didn't hate it. I think it's a lot easier to to dislike the pickup after it fails. Oh, there's a guard thrall there, isn't it? So now, the, now the guards there's pretty good. There you go. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, Paravel, I, I, I disliked your cage before it failed. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> oh, <dear. laughs> and it worked. Right, so now he's got to clear the diving tackle and he's got to avoid or, or gaze him as well, hasn't he? Uh, he did the he did he did the same thing that I did in my in my in like that's why I've got to keep saying it because I did the pretty much the same thing. He made a cage, you know, like a guy here, guy here, guy here, um, and a guy here and a guy here, just a standard just a standard cage, really. One player there, two there, you know, so that's all safe. And then uh, and then a guy here and a guy here, you know, so there's three squares in between them. Um. <laughs> 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 Oof, well that certainly cleared the diving tackle. Yes, forever. Permanently, yeah. Permanently clears the diving tackle there. Oh man, this is this is the Vamps game now, isn't it? They've got too much of an advantage going in overtime, which they should get there. Yeah, and like I, I've done it myself, right? Like, as I say, there you can you can see probably way back on the YouTube's, and you know I did like a one-turn defense, and I had a guy there and a, and a guy three squares away, and and then they just ran through the empty hole. It's easy. It's easy done. Well, it's possibly done. <laughs> it's, <laughs> Not really easy, but it's a sort of it's the mistake anyone can make, isn't it? Yeah, well done, Parade. Yeah. Ooh, he's Ooh. he's failed. He's I mean he's got to just bite that throw, hasn't he? Yes, they went up there. Well, he's he's got to pro it. He did, you know. Oh, did he pro it? Oh, it's not pro. Oh, he's biting that one, and then handing off to and the other vamp. Okay. <gasps> Okay, that's pretty cool actually, because then he's got this one for the score. Yeah, that's pretty oh, good. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. That's yeah, good. And also that one also has side step, so yeah, that's good. An extra movement, just in case. Yeah, yeah, it's pretty good. That pretty good player. Well done. Well done, Russell Storm. This guy knows how to bump. <laughs> yeah. The rare opportunity of praising somebody's play. Like it is really hard to praise people's play, isn't it? Be I I find in in like in Chalice because you know I kind of kind of expect them to do. All of well, the moves yes. that I would kind of expect, so it's like, it's you know that that that, that seemed quite a nice the, little thing. There. Yes, the, the expectations for the challenge games about the skill level are, for some reason, you know, expect much more than the same guy in a regular challenge uh, qualification game. Yeah. You know, the cap is like, oh, he's in the cap. You know, must be perfect every game. <laughs> yeah, and every I mean, play must be perfect. Yeah, and, and I mean that really did show the, the experience with Vamps, isn't it? Knowing that he had to have the throw to stand on the uh, on the end zone line to bite. And, so uh, Vamps and Kislev two are two teams where uh, making horrible plays that look like a good idea at the time is also very easy. <laughs> yeah. He he definitely activates him, and it's worth it. The, the power's so much better than the dodge. Like it's not much better odds. Like it's it's quite it's you know like it is a lot better odds but also I mean we well, should have done it with this guy shouldn't he? Um, I've just just seen that he didn't do it with the right player, but um, it's not like the odds 
it's not like the odds are that much better, right? Because you're you're almost uh, like you're only three percent to fail the dodge away. But um, the thing is, it's like the payoff of, of removing. Yes, players. of getting it's rid so of a player. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's a good idea, Mordred. Yeah, that's what I should do. <laughs> that's what I should do. <laughs> I like watching some of the games of uh, Rebel. I, in fact, that's why I came back to Blood Bowl was because the Eurogam Eurogamer article about Rebel. Then I joined Rebel, and Rebel have on the Reddit. Rebel they have on the side the YouTubers, and that's how I discovered Sage, Jimmy, and everybody. Wow. And some of the commentators are. Uh, Really entertaining of Rebel. I like it a lot, the uh, Harrinsor and things like that. Others not, but. And because I watch the games in the second screen while I work, you know, the fact that they're very long doesn't matter me, doesn't, doesn't worry me that much. <laughs> so, really, but, the Eurogamer article did keep, you know, Rebel did keep the ball alive. <laughs> yes, yes, I lo uh, yes. Mm -hmm. me, and my pals, me and my pals came back because of the. Because of the Eurogamer article, and I know more people. Oh, yeah, He's okay, all right, all right, let's check this out. And then, oh, this CCR thing, what the, what the hell is this going on? <laughs> Amazing. And that's why I discovered uh, the Sage and uh, Jim and all that. And I started watching the videos and uh, learn a lot. Glorious. Glorious. Also, helped me a lot when I was uh, going through a rough time, you know, being able to watch a game of Blood Bowl, you know, senseless Blood Bowl, just watch it. And I'm like, all right, look at that. Okay. Glorious. Having said that, some of the Rebel games can be very tough to watch. It's a hard work. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they, they can last a long time. But yeah, I like I like the like all the casting element of Rebel as well, and I, I did, I and, did uh, do yes, it myself a little bit. How the league is run and all the work involved and all the different leagues. And for people starting on the game, you know, the upstarts and the Greenhorn and all the things they have for new players. I think that's really good. Yeah. It's, it's one of the legs that is keeping Blood Bowl 2 alive. The other is the CCL. <laughs> That's it. There is, there is a table. No, no, but there's a table with two legs right now, Blood Bowl 2. Is. One is Rebel and all the other leagues surrounding Rebel, and the other is the CCL. Because the mm. rest of it is just private leagues, friend leagues, something like that. Blitz Pit comes once in a while. Yeah. But you know, this is not a regular thing. No. So kudos to everybody involved in the management of those uh, Rebel and uh, the CCL. Yeah. Which they are doing it for free too, you know, so... Yeah. Oof, he shouldn't, he shouldn't have had the two, right? Like, I don't understand this. Maybe he should have had the two tacklers over there if he was like, if this was meant to be a token one-turn defense. I don't know why there's six here and two there. Is it... I don't know if he's just... I think he just got tired and discovered that the Kislev can't can't uh, can't one turn. Yeah, it just made a nice little pretty uh, pretty little. I guess maybe it's a riot, right? You've got you've got to think about riot, I guess. Oh right, yeah. Like so, this must have been his idea for against a riot somehow. Oh right, yeah, here we go. This. Who's going to win the toss? Kislev might have half a chance if they win the toss. If they lose the toss, they're probably done, aren't they? Because they've got, they've got like no players left. Oh my god, oh, both fans back. Oh, the vampires are back. Both vamps back. Boy, howdy. The vamps win the toss. Rip. Ripperoni. <laughs> yeah. I mean, some guy 113, you can, you can care about the one turn, but not wait. a lot, right? So you don't have to put this. You, oh, wait, I thought they won. Oh, isn't that weird? I thought, yeah, but it was what appeared was like the the Kislev uh, lost the toss. Well, that's well. At least now Kislev has a chance with a game here. Oh no, they have, or have they? Choose to kick. <laughs> it says choose to receive. Even though guys, I think it's the yeah, that's a bug. It's always the other way around. Is this the Kislev defense? No, it can be. That's a. It can be the defense. He can't have chose to kick. Can he? <laughs> and he, why is he setting up on defense like this? 
He must be receiving. He must be receiving. This must have been the Kislev defence. Like, this is... Did the Kislev player press, uh, you know, uh, pass the... Like, this it's can't be a Kis this is not a Kis This is not a vampire defensive formation, is it? <laughs> no. Or, or, or is it? Because there is not enough... Uh, no, yeah. yeah, there you go. It was a rage defensive setup, yeah. Rage defensive setup from the Kisler, yeah. Which is fair enough. Right? But he's got eight players. He could have done better than this. Couldn't he? Like, he could have done better than this. Like, okay, he's only got eight players. And he's got no uh, he could have put, you know, a couple of the players a square back at least so they don't get hit by three. Yeah, putting six men on the LOS is just like, fuck this game, I'm done. Like, but it, <laughs> it wasn't it wasn't that bad for him, was it? Like, it was bad, don't get me wrong. It's, But it's not over, as Elliot always loves to say. Okay, your four best players have been cast. Well, four of your five best players have been cast. But, like, it really isn't actually all yeah he's got three rerolls he could make things happen maybe like it's it's hard you know don't get me wrong it's almost over right but there's a difference between it being almost over and you making it completely like you know there's a difference between it being almost over and you still tr fighting tooth and nail to doing everything yeah. you can to make it a to make it a win and you just letting them win <laughs> yes, and the bumps, the bumps only have one uh, roll, so you yeah. know they, they get double skulls or something like that. For example, he, I don't know why the bumps are carrying the ball with the, not with the sure hands bump. Yeah, yeah. I mean, okay, the extra movement, extra agility is good, but. Well, to, oh. be, to be fair, he did cast the rackle, didn't he? <laughs> yes, yes, I yeah, know. Yeah, yeah, that was the. Uh, <laughs> His dinner might have just turned up, yeah. Yeah, like a... Ah, uh, uh, yeah, maybe Mordred, maybe, yeah, uh, maybe, maybe... I mean, like, I think he... Uh, you know, I think he is definitely mentally gone, yeah, there's a nickel. Um, like, you, you know, he may well be mentally gone, but he shouldn't be. He was only one uh, player down for the next game. Good one, yes, but... Yeah. Yeah, thank you. But you know what? I always say, uh, you know, you don't, you don't want to play anymore. Or you say, okay, oh, I can't keep it in this. You are free more than I'm free to do it. And yeah. I never hold it against anyone. That is oh, yeah, the yeah. Fuck, I'm done with this game right now. Yeah. That's the thing that I don't like about the uh, Blood Bowl uh, rules in general. You know, they, they, they don't allow you to say, okay, guys, I'm done. Sorry, but uh, here you go. You know, it's, you're massively punished. You're forced to play, you know, maybe another hour or another half an hour doing nothing. Mm -hmm. Looking at the screen. Yeah. Mm. Yes, Miles, and it is still going on. Oh, just killed a guy. <laughs> oh, no more gorilla quick. <laughs> that's why. That's why he sat him on the bench last drive, just so he could get instantly cast this one. <laughs> he was marked by this. <laughs> oh dear. This is more than not. That's even worse. Yeah, that would be even worse, yeah. I'll say a uh, soft concede where the your opponent, you know, gets to choose where goes one of the MVPs. Or something like that, or having less than five players or five players on the pitch or whatever it is. <laughs> I mean it was to me, his reward was three seasons a three season ban. I mean that is probably the best thing that can happen to any Blood Bowl coach, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I remember, I remember watching that one. I was like, Oof. "You know what? Three seasons or keep playing this." Yeah. My mental health will welcome me for stopping playing Blue Bowl for a while. I mean, to be fair, he didn't know it was going to happen. So, like, it was the first time it had ever happened, and it, I just thought it was ridiculously, ridiculously over the top. So, I, 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 I was not a fan of that punishment. <laughs> I, yeah, I mean, uh, three seasons is uh, a really rough. Yeah, it's like it just seems crazy because it's like oh, if okay if it was a professional sport and there was loads of sponsorship money and tv money and everything then yes absolutely ban him for that because he's ruined it as a spectacle but no one cares <laughs> like nobody cares <laughs> so just yeah it was the last game he, he thought he'd lost he gave up so fucking what
No, it was a, he, he clearly, clearly, clearly had already lost the game. It was like, it was absolutely a horrible situation. Yeah, he'd, he'd, lo he'd lost like five players in four turns or something, Trent, but he still had a chance. Three dead players, he still had a chance. He had more chance than at the start of the tournament, because he was in the final, wasn't he? <laughs> yep. You know. No, no, it was absolutely brutal. It was, I remember watching, it was like, whoa. Yeah. yeah. Like, the final is the least bad point to give up because you're not ruining it for anybody else. That's the thing, right? If, if yep. he concedes in the semi-final, then, uh, then those extra SPPs and, you know, no, no attrition for his opponent is, is ruining the, the final for somebody or, or affecting the final, at least, for somebody. But, like... It was the final, so it didn't impact anybody no, in else. In fact, what he could have done is just pass turn every turn, and that would be alright. Yeah, exactly. I know that's the most stupid thing as well. Like, yeah, exactly. Like, how dumb is that? In a game that neither of them were going to play either of the teams ever again. <laughs> if he had passed turns every turn and wasted everybody's life, he wouldn't have got punished. Like, it, it was really stupid. I, I hated that, to be honest. Um, I've got no idea. It was not Mirror, was it? Yeah, it was an org mirror, yes. Yeah. What was the cheat's punishment? That's a good question. I can't remember. Like, probably just one season. One and a half seasons, maybe. Not not a lot. And only only on PS4 as well, because they, they just played on they just played on PC on their uh, they just played on PC on the ban the season they were banned. So yeah, I think it was just one season ban. Not like calcium that got banned like for life for life. <laughs> yeah, yeah, until it got overturned. Yeah, yeah. He got he, got, he just got an yeah, calcium got an uh and oh, I can't remember what the word is. Uh very well, there was a ring of uh, Spanish players that were uh, agreeing when to play and when not to play, so they weren't facing facing each other at all. And there was uh, a lot a big group of them. So you know more or less they could decide when to play, when not to play. So they have a softer competition. Yeah. Which is really impactful in PlayStation where there was like, you know, there was about four people who knew how to play a Blood Bowl, two people who had a good idea what it was, and then someone's pet dog were like the only competent players on PS4. So yeah, when when <laughs> when, when five of those are choosing not to play each other ever, yes. then it gets really hard for the people that aren't in that gang. You know? Yes, that's uh, and there was money involved. That's another thing, yes. and there was a very, very smaller pool of players. Money involved. Yeah. You know, it's not like if you are playing Warzone or Call of Duty. You know, and with your friends, oh, well, let's, let's not play anything like that because there are millions of players. You know, the chances that you end in the same game are stupid. <laughs> very good, Al. <laughs> yeah, there was there was thousands of like it. It went on for multiple seasons. And uh, there were thousands of dollars in, like given out in prize money while this was happening. So yeah, it was it was pretty bad. Oh, he's gone for the leap in. Admins were involved. Yep, exactly. Yes, yes, Two that's the thing. That's the other thing. One of the one of the top guys involved was one of the admins. So he had even more access to information. You know. Yep. Yeah, it was re it was real really bad. Yeah. Wow, there you go. See, see, sack the ball. That, that crazy defense that he started with. And, he, and here he is with a chance. He's cast it! Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> One he badly hurt. It scattered out to there. Oh my god. And there is a, there is a dodger, yeah. dodger there. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, G if I G if I can get all the way to here. Oh, he's just gonna run around. What a nerd. <laughs> Should have left, shouldn't he? Should have left. <laughs> With no rerolls. <laughs> yeah, it was too epic not to leave. <laughs> Maybe they should have moved him for free. I think I think this guy hadn't activated well, this guy definitely hadn't. He should have recovered him, shouldn't he? I, I think we have some kind of power, you know, every single time we say in one of these games, oh, this is, you know, very good chances for this team, blah, 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 <laughs> they instantly lose the ball on three players. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that was the thing. Like, that was why, that, it was only eight guys, there was no need to give up. But I mean, it, fair, you know, fair enough, obviously, I'm not, like, I'm not being horrendously mean. Like, the thing is, it, you know, mentally, it, he'd obviously given up a bit, hadn't he? But, he, but this is proving that he shouldn't have. I 
I think is it is it nine versus eight now? Three, six, seven, eight. Eight versus eight. Eight. Eight versus eight. <laughs> <laughs> That's amazing. The Vamps need to think carefully how to pick up the ball. Yeah, it's this is going to be tough mentally for the Vamps now to get back into it because you know they started oh. three men up, almost guaranteed, uh, giving up uh, formation from the Kisle, but now they've got to get their yes. head back into the game and uh, and, and only one reroll, so they can afford any mistake. Yeah, and that absolutely. vampire blue lasted right now, so that means <laughs> someone is going to get beaten. Yep, they might be down to seven now. And it's going to be the throw, the, the guard throw. Yes. But I mean, they shouldn't. They shouldn't, should they, Modred? Like, you know, that, like he shouldn't have done then. <laughs> it was 1 1. You know, like. And he was only down three players. It wasn't that bad. Genuinely wasn't that bad. If you've just lost the ball against somebody who you know isn't going to mess up and is definitely going to beat you, then, uh, then it's fair enough giving up, isn't it? <laughs> oh, doesn't get the gears, so he's on a 3 plus dodge. But he's got dodge, so it's not that unlikely, is it? 3 plus dodge, so yes, yeah, dodge. Right. I mean, I very, very rarely give up in 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 Chalice. I, I don't. I probably have, have never given up in Chalice. To be fair. Oh! <laughs> there you go. Gets the one in nine. It's absolutely impossible to enjoy this game with bombs. <laughs> it just isn't possible. <laughs> Yeah, the, this catcher could do something. Got to recover him and get him in the game, hasn't he? But yeah, this is looking like Kislev favourites almost now. This guy has got jump up, right? So he can get he can get a long way away here. Very interesting. <laughs> yes, and the trolls are not the fastest uh, player saders or the vampires. So, yeah. and even getting the ball down the pitch is a massive problem for the bumps because. They want to score, and if the ball is, you know, going back to the end zone, even if they, the Kislev can't keep the ball, it's a lot of turns to score for the Vamps. Yeah, and and the Kislev are the ones with the, the extra rerolls, aren't they? they? They've got the Kekwadi at the moment. Oh, that's finally gone. Good. Two rerolls to one, so Kislev uh, holding all the cards at the moment. I guess the Vamps should have fouled more, right? They've still got their bribe active, and they've got three reserve throws, so I guess you can say they should have fouled more. Yeah, Mordred, I guess that's what he's thinking about. I get because he's got this guy, hasn't he? Who could go like what? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, or something. Pick up the ball. And then he could lob it. Sprint, dodge, win. pass, win the game, legend. <laughs> but also, this guy could blitz. And then what? This guy could go three, four, five, six, GFI. Then this guy could blitz and then go away. And then, then that frees everything up a bit for this guy, doesn't it? So I guess there's multiple things you can do. So you just gotta think a little bit. Oh, this one's got jump up as well, hasn't he? No. Oh, no. A blitzer for a second. Oh, just oh a cast. <laughs> Should have taken out the bear. <laughs> oh my god! The bombers went right on the game. <laughs> that was a risky roll to make. I mean, one in nine there with loner. Wow. It was, yeah. I would have liked to have got something, like, you know, got the catcher around, you know, made my safe moves first, but wow. All to free a Lino with no jump up or anything. Mm. Now, he gets to, now he gets to hit this without block as well. <laughs> just, just kill all of the vamps. <laughs> Uh, it works, it works, there is no, you know, there is no... Oh, he is going for the pass. Oh, boy. Boy, howdy. Oh, because that, that that clears all this, doesn't it? For the That that was the reason, was to clear all of these oh. squares. So he can, go, he can go for the leap here. Yeah, that was the leap square, that was why I did it. Oh, he rolls a one of the leap. 
you have to reroll this. And fails the pickup. But the, it's alright, the square is not the, the worst. Well, unfortunately, I didn't like this. I didn't like this. I liked. I liked. The I think it was way, and, way, yeah, doing things. way, way too optimistic. Yeah, it was very optimistic. Now we can. It's an easy clear there. Easy clear there. Get the ball. Score. Uh -huh. Not with him. With him I guess. Yeah, so it was a dodge from Tagel. But maybe he should have. But that was one of one of the most kissless plays I've, I've seen. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it was great. Like he was still very close to winning, wasn't he? If he made that pickup, dodged out, and then passed it, he would, he would have almost. Yes, even even if, if the pay, if the pass was a fail, it was like uh, horrible for the bumps. Yeah. This is just a one and nine, isn't it? That's not a bitter, so he could go one, two, three, four, five, and up. Oh, he's moved there. Okay. Is this guy blitzing? I think now he has to, or he's going to dodge. No, he wasn't blitzing. Well, he can't do the handoff, though. I think this pause means that he's thinking I've made a mistake. <laughs> he might pass it, but in the tackle zone it's dangerous. That's why I'd have done the blitz first. The pass is dangerous, isn't it? Because it's the intercept. As well as the catching the tackle zone. He couldn't hand off because he would he would he would be gone, uh Gary. Like he couldn't he couldn't bite a throw and hand off. Off he goes, way <laughs> Oh also disturbing presence as well. So it would have been a 3 plus pass and a 4 plus catch. Oh, it, it, it doesn't have this, the, the oh, it doesn't have this, the impresses, it's the thinking, Yeti. Yeah, I thought he was a Yeti. I know, I know, he's, I know he's a Crocs ago. I just thought, oh shit, he's a Yeti. Like, I literally just looked at the model and thought, oh, he's a Yeti. But yeah, of course he's a Crocs ago. It's slam. It's being an idiot. Disregard. God, I'm I'm playing terribly today. <laughs> the fact that you are not even playing. It's not a bear. There's no such thing as a bear. It's a Crocs ago, isn't it? It's a... Croxago. It's a flipping Croxago. Stupid yes, idiot yes, shithead. It was the slant, but they were changed by his left because Games Workshop doesn't like the slant anymore in the lore or anything. Yes. They they regret making a space <laughs> toads as the most powerful race in the universe. <laughs> yes. It was hilarious at the beginning of Warhammer 40k, but now that Warhammer 40k is a little more serious, <laughs> it's a very difficult sale. Yeah. He's got to bring this guy back in now, hasn't he? Yes, <laughs> yes he's a skinny slam. Yeah. Kislev is literally reskin slam, yes. See, Shark, yeah. Yeah. Because what happened was uh, Jervis Johnson created Blood Bowl back in the 80s. And then at some point in like the 2000s, when they were making the late, like the the latest rules at the time, he said, "I'd like all the teams I created to be back in it." So some some goober made the rules for Slam, um, and then even though it was kind of pointless because they were never going to make models and everything, so it was it was pretty stupid because obviously at that point Game Social already were like hated Slam, so it was kind of it was really stupid to do it, but. Jervis Johnson wanted it, and then the guy who made it has maybe sued Games Workshop, and maybe has had a settlement with them, and maybe uh, you know they don't want to use any rules he's made and stuff. It's possible. So there you go. No, but uh, using Kiss left because the Russian circus, you know, with the acrobats and all that, and the trained bear is a thing that's from that part of the world. <laughs> So whoever has to deal with that, you know, like okay, I have this. Yeah, I can't remove the maybe's uh, PC unless you give me proof. <laughs> it is accepted BB history, but I, I I haven't seen any proof. Have you? But yeah, the the, the hate for against Warsaw for the slang concept is uh, very easy to see. You see past editions of Warhammer Fantasy or Warhammer 40k. 
where they were more present, and then they started to disappear, less and less images, less images until now there are no images at all. Yeah. They're called the old ones in a uh, 40k, and uh, they are supposed to be superior beings with who knows how they look. Yeah. Bring this guy back! You can't afford to be man down. <laughs> this is a ridiculous scoring threat. Bring him back. <laughs> Bring him home! <laughs> that guy has diving tackle! You need that diving tackle! <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> Only 18 more replays to go. Nah, no Among Us. I don't think there's... Because I'm, I'm doing terribly today. I'm doing absolutely terribly today. So... Here we go. He's there. He's there. He's back in the mix. He's not assisting this block, but at least he's, you know, doing something. Oh, he's going to leap and then 1D. Oh, gets it. Gets it. Gets the power. Gets the power. <laughs> Boy, howdy! Oof! Oh ho ho! Gets the removal! And 21 for the vampires! Holy moly! Yep, that was the most kids love player. And uh, he nearly caught the scatter as well. Uh, it might, go to, it might go to kicks this night. Holy moly. Imagine being the vamps and then this happening. <laughs> like being three men up with a completely given up LOS. <laughs> for like a completely given up defense from the Kislev. And then all of a sudden, <laughs> they've got eight men standing. And you've got three men standing. <laughs> and you're like, how the hell did this happen? <laughs> oh, oh, I've reached this point. What happened? <laughs> oh, man. There is only a handful of bumps <laughs> left. <laughs> they have five players. Oof. He's prod it. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> yeah, we weren't. And yeah, we were. <laughs> we were up very late. There's a diamond tackle there, so he can't dodge. He needed the power, didn't he? So he, I mean, he can dodge. He can go for the 75% dodge. He probably has to. Like, he literally probably has to. Oh, it's tackle as I well, think. though. Oh. Oh. Oh, hoo -hoo, he's putting in the reroll. <laughs> yes, PC. Both of them did, to be fair. <laughs> Both of them I think yes, this is going to be yeah. game for the kids left. <laughs> and why you greet the jump up, go for the blitz and the wall will be yours. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the, the 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 jump up greed was a bit was a bit much, wasn't it? But yeah, obviously if he'd if he just uh, if he just followed, yeah, then he would have had the four plus. I guess he just forgot tackle, which is uh, fair enough, right? They've been playing for nearly two hours. <laughs> yes, express the blitz, but what other blitz do you want to make? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, you just need to move this guy. So blitzing him and then blocking him is enough, right? You, with two hits, you definitely clear yes. it. Yes, pick up and... the ball with a blodger and run away. Oh, it is. God, it was so good, wasn't it, Dimi? Remember the first, when we started playing Among Us? I need to play this game! <laughs> and watching the, watching the VODs every time. Every time he wasn't playing, it was amazing. So good. <laughs> Rebel has finished. Oh, my God. Here we go. He makes a three-plus pickup. And that's almost one, isn't it? Or is it one? He can, he can touch him with a vampire. One GFI puts him on the safe. Uh, yep. There you go. There you go. That is one. Unless he can somehow make a chain, which uh, he can at the moment. He can chain this guy one closer, but only one closer. Yeah, I think that's one. Wow. Wow. 
<laughs> yeah, exactly, Gary. And like we were completely confused as to who was kicking and who was receiving. That was <laughs> that was such a weird, such a weird thing. He must have literally just got got angry, mustn't he? He must have like you know mentally tapped out, and then you know got back. Yes, or maybe made a mistake and then said, "Wow, what well, I'm doing? This is horrible. Okay, whatever." Yeah. Yeah, he could have he could have also just like accidentally clicked set up, right? It could have just been set yes. up like that and he just literally misclicked and was like, Oh no. You know, so like I think that's what happened. Yeah. yeah. Maybe. Now there's clearly the chat moment, you know, saying good game and all that. Good luck in the rest of the Charlies. Yep. What a win. What a win. Overpowered Kislev, the best team in Blood Bowl. Um, nobody should have any shame ever losing to Kislev. They are. <laughs> they put in the, the band aid before the wound. <laughs> the, it's basically impossible to ever win a game against Kislev, so, you know, um, absolutely. <laughs> absolutely no shame for Razzle Storm. Good effort, mate. Um, you know, commiserations. <laughs> oh, dear. And he went for it, but couldn't do anything. But the, the, the BR was there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's amazing how dominant it's been after after just getting punched for the first. The well, first they they turns. they angry the bear. You know, the bear was doing nothing. They started attacking the bear, and then the bear reacted. <laughs> Did he just do a 1D? What, what was that? A score? What was it a 2? No, it was, it was a 1D. I think, I think that, that must be a mistake or something like that. How is it a 1, though? Wait. He's so confident that's going to play another turn before scoring. What on earth? Dude, just score. <laughs> oh, one was gazed. All oh, right. Just score! Come on, man! Oh my god, he's well, geifying to, to well, get to level him. Well, what the hell is happening him. here? He's going to hand off for the yeah, score. Yeah, he wants to level him, yeah. Oh, he's rolled a one! <laughs> oh my god! Wow! Wow! <laughs> wow! <laughs> Balls of steel! I mean... I'm not okay with any of that. I will just, just score, win, go to the next game. But wow. What? Boy, I howdy. Mean, yeah, that was... He was in a very dominant position, but he could have ended going to kicks with any mistake there. Yeah. The ball goes to the crowd, nobody can pick it up, goes to kicks, you lose. <laughs> oh, man, it really would have been. Yeah, Jay Bazza. Wow. Wow, that was that was incredible, incredible greed from Kislev. But you know, I have to say yes. The name of the team is after all all-out attack. So <laughs> they all, don't lie. All-out all greed. Attack. It should have been. All-out <laughs> greed. <laughs> yeah, the dance party was amazing, wasn't it? Having two players <laughs> in celebration. <laughs> James Salis made that. Oh, that's more than it. all my cooking. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna absolutely dominate this game, you know. Uter chat, blue ball chat. <laughs> oh, dear. oh my god. Anyway, I'm gonna grab a cough. Okie dokie. Thank you very much, Fami. Absolutely glorious. Um, and uh, yeah, commiserations, Razzlestorm. Congratulations, Kill Bill Waltz. Um, <laughs> thanks for watching. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And stay fantastic.